What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this. Another edition of Cub Reacts on a Wednesday afternoon. Very excited to be getting into this one. The sounds of D2 alongside Techno. Now, we have had the uh, great pleasure of interviewing D2 before on the channel. And uh, this is a wicked link up by the sounds of things. It goes by the name Allow Me Again alongside Techno, who is putting out some fantastic releases at the moment. Super consistent with a lot of the bangers we are hearing. Always bringing that sort of party starting energy to everything he's doing. So I'm very excited to see how this one sounds as always friends if you are new to the channel do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on as well of course leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff we are growing at a rapid rate at the moment and i cannot thank each and every one of you enough for coming along on this journey it's absolutely crazy so uh, let's get right into this one i'm excited <laughs> Straight in with them uh, Amma Elements. Very nice so far, very much focusing on those percussive intricacies um, and the sort of more typical, I want to say, Ama Piyama elements when you're looking at that kind of log drum sound that's kind of floating in there, almost like the kind of talking uh, percussion as well, which sounds great. And then on top of that as well, these sort of harmonized vocals which sit in the backdrop, giving the whole thing this kind of floaty-esque texture. Really smooth build up on this one. The drums sound really nicely uh, produced and processed. I'm loving how it's sounding. Let's go. I Really simple the arrangement, but it works. Drop a nice little subtle bopper. That little switch up into this euphoric section works quite nicely as well. Um, there's something really pleasing about this. Um, I don't know what it is in particular, but there's something about that transition into that buh, 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 that sort of big kind of classic, uh, almost like pop scale ballad style vocal after having this very sort of subtle, quite warm, um, again, quite quite uh, quite stripped back introduction that is focusing almost entirely on percussion. Um, there's no real bass line going on. It's literally just the kind of boom of the kick drum at the beginning, just kind of... Which is occasionally kind of overdubbed with that sort of rolling um, log drum sound as well. This is really interesting. I just wanna be your hero, your hero, your commander, commander. Oh, Pamela, I beg her, love me, make I got you go dinner. She said, Do you love me? I said, Send me your nigga. Oof. The little kind of vocal effects we're hearing on this where some of them are floating in, some of them are kind of crossing across panning wise. A lot of work is going into making the vocals sound dynamic on this, which I think is important as the instrumental itself is quite stripped back. It's not sort of too in your face. I think making sure that the whole tune has a kind of sweeping, um, again, kind of otherworldly texture is a cool thing. Um, and I think it's cool to kind of add that into the vocals as well because it does keep you uh, interested as a listener and it keeps the sonic landscape quite, um, well, it, it, keeps it, it keeps it not boring. Shall we say? I love the use of those log drums floating back into the mix as well. Just they're so subtle. They're not like in your face. They're not kind of taking over everything that's going on. They're just there to kind of add a bit of textural color to the lower end of the mix down. Again, vocal wise, this is great. I'm loving the back and forth. I'm loving the kind of, again, um, almost digitalization of those vocals, kind of using sweeping pans and using um, kind of almost harmonized effects, the call and response we're hearing as well. There's a lot going on in this, despite the fact it is so stripped back and minimal. Um, definitely a cool tune for like the sort of late night raving as well. Definitely a good tune for an after party, for sure. <laughs> I 
love the fact they've gone into this almost like soundscaping idea with those vocals over this middle bridge. Just letting the vocals kind of almost mesh into the synthesizers in the background, meshing into everything else that's going on across the backdrop. It's a really cool way, I feel, of just adding something else to a tune, like giving it that extra textural importance, giving it that extra sense of direction and storytelling where the vocals kind of wisp you away. Almost feel like I'm listening to Wind in the Willows or something nutty like that. Um, it's a really cool vocal effect of Adman. It just reminds me a little bit of kind of early, uh, earlier weekend stuff I got something to prove I got nothing to lose I got table for two me and you girl no time all night girl so baby baby allow me to allow me to give allow me to I love the tension that's building up in the backdrop as well. You have got those sort of very typical Amma Piano horn um, syncopated chords now appearing that just kind of... Just appearing and rolling. But on top of that as well, uh, just that sort of almost ominous kind of uh, Reesey texture that just sits on top of the rest of the instrumental. Sounds really, really clean. Just that kind of sort of sound. Um, I love tension building instrumentation and that's exactly what we're hearing. Love me to tease you. Love me to... Love me to spoil you, love me to, love me to I'm in love, I just wanna be your arms I just wanna be your hero, your hero Your commander, commander I love you to I'm loving the the general kind of transitions on this are fantastic. They do have a slightly kind of euphoric nature to them, which I think works really well. That kind of transition between that big, again, ballad-like bridge in the middle. You've then got the Reesey bridge alongside it, alongside that. You've got you've got um a lot of different kind of sections of this tune that if you were to kind of list them all randomly, they wouldn't fit together. But the transitions between each section are what allow this tune to kind of work. I've got to say, it's a really impressive display from both D2 and um and Techno. Again, we have had the pleasure of interviewing D2 on the channel do go and check that out if you want to find a bit more about his process want to find out a bit more about how he is able to kind of work and how his sort of studio processes work we dive quite heavily into that but yeah do check that out on the channel love me to kiss you love me to uh, love me to tease you love me to uh, love me to spoil you love me to uh, love me to it's monster Nice. I'm not mad at the fade out on this one either. I think that works quite well with the sort of general way everything's been so smooth in its transitions and things like that. But there we go. The sounds of D-Twer alongside at Techno. Uh, I'm a big fan of what D-Twer does, man. He's quite uh, an understated artist, I feel. Doesn't necessarily get the recognition um, that I feel is deserved for a very consistent run of releases. But there's a Techno collaboration here. So it's clear that there's sort of a level of respect within the industry going on. Again, love Techno's input on this. That typical sort of party starting flavor. But the overall instrumental, I feel, is definitely the highlight. The usage of those transitions, the usage of kind of spacey um, synthesizer textures, and also those sort of very subtle Amma Piano elements just kind of like dotted around the backdrop works really well and i did enjoy this one so there we go guys let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section down below and as always if you are new to the channel do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on of course as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and we shall see you all next time peace make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel right now corp cam tv stay locked Okay. <laughs>